Hey guys, my name's The Tempster. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial showing you guys how to make your own plants and um, bushes and grass and all these bits and pieces. Um, but not just ordinary sort of textured stuff. It's also going to include faking ambient occlusion for these plants and stuff. I got this idea from um, a I think it was Dragon Age Inquisition um, and it just had a uh, picture and I had a look at the grass and I thought hmm Blender can probably do something pretty similar to that so um, I gave it a go and this is sort of what I got and I didn't think they looked too bad, I thought they looked quite nice so um ah uh, yeah, I thought you guys might want to know how to make that so um yeah that's what this tutorial is going to be about anyway get started. Um, file new or open up Blender if you haven't already um, and you'll just have your default cube. Today we're going to be using lots and lots and lots of planes so we won't need a cube. You can, um, I'll just turn this on, you can press X and delete, delete the cube. Then you can go at the top here, Blender game, GOSL, and frame rate to 60, you may as well. Um, then we're going to add a plane, you can make it big. And this is just going to be the floor, you can leave it a plane, but I'm going to call it ground. Um, then I'm going to get it, give it a material, no back facing, and that's it. Um, then we're going to give it a texture, image or movie, UV and we'll need to open up a texture so um, for yep this example I'm going to be using I'm going to go under soil on CG textures then beach and you can get sort of any texture you like on there um, I think I can just use this one either way get one that you like preferably a tiling one or one you can tile um, and then you'll need to log in and download that um, just by clicking on it, it'll download for you and then you'll open it up go into downloads and go on the picture thing so you can see it and scroll down to your downloaded image so I think Soil Beach was my one um, with footprints I'll throw it um, then I'm going to go into texture mode here and then press tab U and then unwrap and then we have a nice plane like this um, but we're going to have to make a new window by holding down your mouse over here and then we're going to go image or movie and open up soil beach oh, press tab to go into edit mode and then open up soil beach and we can make it a bit bigger by pressing S. I think that's a good size. So um, we'll quickly do the lighting. We'll um, need one sun lamp and um, press R Y, just a bit like that. R Y. Actually, we want a nice and bright, so maybe something like that's fine. Then we're going to press Shift D and then move it over here just by moving your mouse and clicking um, then this one's going to be a hemi so we have our sun and we have a hemi and this is going to be low so this is going to be like a shadow and we're going to make it a sandy color shadow and then we can press RY and make it go the opposite direction like that um, so now when we press shift A and add a cube, then it will have a sort of dark, sandy coloured, um, shadow. But we're not going to add a cube, we're going to add another plane. Um, we can drag this up, and we're going to give this, uh, material. Drag, no specularity, no back facing, uh, alpha clip. It just makes it look a bit neater. Transparency on, no alpha, and give it a texture, image or movie, UV, and we're going to open up a um, another texture. So we're actually going to have to go back onto CG textures and 
go to the start page here yeah, then think they've released new plant textures so you can click up here to get those or just go into nature and scroll down to plants and you can get some of these or you can scroll down and get the more bushy looking ones like I think I used that one this one here and um, a pink flowery one as well um, so choose whatever one you like say you wanted this one and if you have an account then you can click and it will download it for you um, and you can move back into blender and you can open up that file I've downloaded I think all of those ones so here they are I also tried this one but it didn't work out too well um, I think I'll just use this one for this example so I'll open that image up and click alpha down here the checkbox so be alpha. Um, so take that and then just tab you unwrap and that will lay the texture on that. Um, then we're going to make the texture a bit nicer and then press S to make it bigger and RX90 and GZ and we're going to move it like that. Then we're going to go back into the um, material settings and click shadeless so it looks nice. And um, if you notice, you might think, uh, why, we, why do we have shadows? Um, this looks pretty horrible, but what I found out, these plant textures from CG Textures, um, actually when you press P, they have their own alpha shadow. Um, this has happened for all the textures I've downloaded from there, all the plant ones so far. Um, so I'm guessing that works with all of them. There's also in my previous how to make grass tutorial that grass texture that I um, uploaded for you guys that one works as well so if you want to use it with that then feel free to do so um, but once we've got this sort of on a straight hitch angle we're going to um, add the sort of fake ambient occlusion so um, what that pretty much does is it will just well we, what we could do is go into blender render and go to bake and go ambient occlusion and bake but because it's a plane it ends up funny and all over the place um, so change it back to blender game and what we're actually going to do is open up GIMP if you don't have it already um, yeah download it get it. Um, I use it most of my tutorials but we're gonna click new and then the width is going to be 600 and the height's going to be 200. I'm going to click OK. Then we're going to go on gradient and click in this image here and we're going to choose FG to transparent so that will be whatever colors in here to that and we want that so we're going to click here and drag all the way to the end of our texture like that and it'll make a nice gradient for us then we're going to go color, color to alpha and click OK because by default it's on white and it'll get rid of all the white um, I'm actually going to move this gradient further up to about there because um, yeah, I found that worked better, so maybe instead of from exactly one side to the other, maybe move it up a bit further, just a little bit. I think by 20 it says at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, once you've got that, then you can go export and um, call it, I don't know, AO Grass and click export. Um, I just called mine AO Shading, I think. There it is. So um, I'm going to leave it. But yep, you'll export that out, then you can quick GIMP, and then you're going to go over here to your um, texture panel for this piece of grass, and you're going to click new, and then image or movie, UV, and you'll open up in documents, or wherever you exported it out to, um, and then you're going to click AO, shading, or what you called it, and then we're going to click... I think it's just color, yeah. 
Um, and so now, if you look closely, you'll notice that this part is dark, it's sort of half of the image, and then this part gets a lot lighter, looking a lot nicer, but that's obviously not how it will work. Um, so I've got a bit of tweaking to do. What you may notice is if you press tab and start moving it around, the grass texture will move as well as the AO, and that's not very helpful. So what we have to do is go into the grass texture up here, and select UV map, then go to texture O2, and there's only one UV map, but we need to give it a different one. So go up here into um, this little cross thing um, with vertices on it, a triangle, and under UV maps, add one more, and you can call this AO if you want, call this one grass. And um, then go back to your materials tab. If nothing pops up, just click material and then click texture and it'll pop up. Um, so this one has grass and then go to texture 2, the AO, and click um, AO. And so now when we press tab and select AO, and then go into AO shading, we can tweak the, um, yeah, the shading. So, if we, so it's going from that way, so we actually have to press R90. So it's going from bottom up instead of sideways, and then press SY to make it fit in the texture, and then SX and spread it out like so and try to get most of the texture in if you don't want to you can make it smaller and just move it down this will make it more noticeable make the texture a bit darker um, but yeah I think you can even do that just whatever works um, also if you have sort of a grass texture like this or something similar and if you notice under the floor, it um, yeah you won't see that part. So if you really wanted to, you could move it even further to get the full um, AO, and just make sure there's a line of black. So it just is black up here and no shaders. But um, yeah, that's just a little trick if you want to. Um, so now we can close that side panel and um, call this grass. You can call that bush or whatever you wanted to. You don't even have to call it names if you don't want to, but I'm just going to as a good example. Um, then press Shift D, and then R Z, Shift D R Z, Shift D R Z, and then click, and then um, press A to deselect, and then B. Drag it over all of these, and then press C, and hold down the scroll button or tap it, deselect stuff um, and then do the same for that and then right click to get out of the selecting mode um, and when you've got all these planes selected um, I think we might actually shift D R Z and add one here as well so it's a bit more even then we're going to press B and drag it over all of these and then control J that will join it all up into one mesh and um, so you can move it all around at once you can parent them as well if you want but since it is grass and um, you might want to do a lot of copy and pasting um, lots and lots of different planes usually is annoying um, especially when you want to multiply large areas so um, yeah that's that one done um, so we're going to move it down past the shadeless line like that and now when we press Sarah to go into camera mode um, we have a, I'm going to press G to move the camera, but we have a um, nice looking piece of grass, so press P and you should have your nice looking alpha texture and some good looking grass. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's how to make some good looking grass if you guys want to use it in your um, yeah, in your own games and stuff. This works with these sort of textures as well. Um, 
and if you yeah sort of don't really like this texture because it's too dull um, you can easily go into GIMP and muck around with the colors and give it a nice color and yeah so you end up with nice looking plants like this which you can stick all over your games and make them look cool so um, thanks for watching guys um, that's the end of the tutorial I'll see you guys next time